Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Right Row. Today we're going to show you one easy way that you can make a cat scratching post. Some of the supplies you're going to need are a wooden base, a wooden top, a wooden post, some sisal rope, a hot glue gun, eight screws, and a screwdriver. If you don't have screws and a screw gun, you can use some long nails and a hammer. For our cat scratching post, we're going to be using some leftover spools that we had laying around the shop. These spools work nice because they have a center hole already in them so you can get them lined up right. The sisal rope we're using for this project can be bought at rightrope.com. The link will be in the description below. Here at Right Rope, our sisal rope is 100% natural and safe for all of your pets. Cats love sisal rope because of its rough texture resembling a tree-like consistency. It's heavy duty and perfect for your cat to safely scratch something other than your furniture. Let's start by assembling our three main pieces, the base, the post, and the top. We made our post by assembling three two by fours together. All right, we're gonna start by attaching the base to the post. We'll get this lined up and centered here and go ahead and put our screws in to hold it in place. All right, next let's put the top onto the post. Next, we're going to show you how to calculate the rope length. This is probably the trickiest part. We're going to be using a rectangular post. The key to figuring out the length of rope you need is using the center line of the rope around the post. This post is three and a half inches wide by four and a half inches wide. We're going to be using three eighths inch diameter sisal rope. To find the center line of the rope, you need to add the diameter of the rope to the width of the post on both sides. So instead of three and a half inches, we're gonna be using three and seven eighths inches. And instead of four and a half inches, we're gonna be using four and seven eighths inches. Three and seven eighths and four and seven eighths is the center line of the rope around the width of this post. So we have two sides at three and seven eighths inches and two sides at four and seven eighths inches. It takes 16 and three quarter inches of rope if you're using three eighths diameter rope to make it around this post one time. The next thing you need to figure out is how many times around the post to make it from the bottom to the top. Our post is 36 inches tall and the diameter of our rope is 3 eighths of an inch. So we need to figure out how many times 3 eighths of an inch goes into 36 inches. We need to turn the 3 eighths fraction into a decimal. 3 eighths of an inch is 0.375 in decimal format. Next, you wanna take the height of your post and divide it by that 0.375. So our post is 36 inches tall we're gonna divide by 0.375 and we get 96. It's going to take 96 wraps to get around this post from the bottom to the top. 96 wraps times 16 and three quarters inches equals 1,608 inches. Divide 1,608 inches by 12 to get feet of rope. It's going to take 134 feet of rope to get around this post 96 times from the bottom to the top. If you're using a round post, the same principle will apply. You need to use the center line of the rope as the diameter around the post. Let's say, for example, you have a four inch diameter post. You need to use four and three eighths as the diameter if you're using a three eighths inch rope. If you're using half inch rope, for example, you would use four and a half inches for the diameter. You need to multiply the diameter times pi, 3.14 for easy figuring, to get the circumference around a round post. For a four inch post with three eighths inch rope, 4.375 times 3.14 equals about 13 and three quarter inches. In that scenario, you would use 13 and three quarter inches to get around the post one time. All right, let's get started wrapping the rope around the post. It is helpful to get started if you have a small trim nail or something to drive into the rope to hold it while you get started. It's nice to have one at the beginning and at the end. We'll use some hot glue along the way as well. After nailing the rope to the post, let's start wrapping around it. Make sure you grab your glue gun. It's gonna help in attaching the rope to the post.
Be sure to wrap the rope really tightly around the post so that it's mostly friction holding the rope to the post. Okay, after you're done wrapping the rope, it's pretty much done. We're choosing to add a little bit of extra flair around this thing by wrapping the bottom edge and top edge with some larger sisal rope. This is one and a half inch diameter sisal rope on the bottom, and then we're gonna put one inch diameter on the top here, just to kind of trim it out and make it look nice. You can make yours however you want. Okay, we're gonna use a little bit of hot glue to attach this. Okay, we're just putting some hot glue every once in a while here to hold this tightly. And we do have a couple of screws in the beginning and in the end of the rope. All right, there it is. A simple way to build a DIY cat scratching post for your cat. Head on over to rightrope.com to get some sisal rope for your cat scratching post today. We have tons of these extra spool tops laying around. Let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make these available for purchase so that you can have a DIY cat scratching post kit. Like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We have a lot of exciting projects coming soon.